Okay then YouTubers, it's time for Friday Physics Fun. Um, I'm looking at candle flames again. I've got a bit obsessed with them in the last few weeks because we've done electric fields with flat plates, so parallel plate field. Um, I've also done it with a magnetic field and I got a new metal dome. Um, that's the one on the right and the one on the, the right is bigger than one on the left. It doesn't make a lot of difference, but obviously we've got a different type of electrical field, radial field. I've got my 20,000 volt power supply, which I will show in a minute. So people can have a look at, which is very, very safe. Um, and my candle is nicely secured down with some candle wax. Some people say, why did you use blue tack? Well, there you go. We've done it with candle wax. So let's see what happens. Um, it's quite cool this. Let's get right in. So I'm going up now to 20,000 volts. Watch that candle flame move. I'm getting some lovely sparking, the current's moving across. So on the left hand side is the positive and on my right hand side is the negative, the bigger dome. And you can see that flame, look, it's moving more towards the right for sure. And if you kind of mess about a little bit, like I can, I can change my shape a little bit get some quite cool sp sparking as well hold on let's go across I'm sort of dancing around now oh let's have a look some lovely sparking and i'll just go across and show you that that's actually oh we're now at 12,000, so it's reducing the potential difference. So I'm going to up it to the, to the max, and there's a really good frequency effect going on now. Perfect. So I'm, I'm making a circuit effectively. If I pull it out further, just like the Van de Graaff, you can hear it trying, and then it breaks down the resistance on the air. Let's go out again, let the candle flame recover. Um, there you go. So not very frequent sparks, and then we tend to get more, but it's difficult because it, I think we're going to put the flame out, and the flame's gone out. There you go. So another candle in an electrical field, but this time radial electrical field, and obviously because of the two, you've got an extra and a positive, you've got a potential gradient. So there you go. You can think about your equipotential lines. 